That's a good point. We had a question right here. Why don't you come on up? Um, so as a 14-year-old Puerto Rican girl that goes to an all-girls school on the Upper East Side, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was curious what your opinions are on girls of color that don't support other girls of color and speaking their opinions on intersectional feminism and how do you think that that's something that could be changed in this sense? Generation. That's an excellent, excellent question. Um, you know, it, it's a shame. I mean, to paraphrase, there's a special place in hell for girls. <laughs> but uh, no, in all seriousness, you know, I think that uh, there needs to be a special sort of um, sisterhood and camaraderie that needs to be. Uh, sort of fertilized and nourished uh, among not only all women but also specifically among girls of color to try to be especially supportive of one another because um, your perspective on the world is a little bit different and your cha the challenges that you face are unique and it's not necessarily generalizable to everyone else. And so you need that special support system. You need that space where people can understand your specific challenge and perhaps can give you some support and guidance and even if they can't help you overcome, they can at least be that ear for you, that soft space that you need in order to be able to navigate it. So how to uh, sort of make that happen if it's not there, just know that if one person isn't that person for you, that's not the only person in the world. You can find someone else, I am confident, who can be that person for you. Just don't let that one person make you believe that it's not possible to have that support because I guarantee you that you'll find those, that support system out there if you keep looking. I think one of the challenges of being um, a woman of color generally um, is that you spend a lot of your energy edu educating people. Right, and so I would say for if you feel, and, and I don't know that it's a good thing because some days I'm just not up for educating people, but I, I do think if you feel um, that there's someone who does not support other uh, young women of color, um, then you have two options. You can sort of cut them off or you can say, maybe this is a person who, who I need to educate. I need them to understand what we have in common, that maybe this person is worth, you know, bringing into a wider circle, especially if we're talking, you're 14, I don't know where she went, you're 14, there you are, you know, you're 14, so if you're talking about other 14 year olds, for many, they don't know what intersectional feminism is, right? And so, you know, you might be doing them a tremendous favor by sort of saying, this might be, sound more complicated than it is, this is what it really is, and, and this is why we need to support each other. Uh, you know, to, to me, and you guys can correct me, sometimes it feels like there's a lot of intention in dividing people, right? Because if you, everyone all got together, <laughs> then you'd suddenly have this, this bigger team that you had to deal with. So I, I, would, I would argue with, you know, maybe that's a person worth educating and explaining how you see the world and listening to how they see the world. Um, because I think that might be a worthwhile investment of your time. We have time for one more question. Why don't you come up?